22 and a very special story this morning. One of Charlotte's most enduring and engaging radio personalities will be undergoing surgery tomorrow. It's the latest step in his battle against cancer, a battle he's determined to win by literally delivering a knockout punch. Boxing is a demanding sport. These are some of Coach Al Simpson's students at the Revolution Park Sports Academy. Students are put through a vigorous workout that is physically challenging. A sport for young people, right? Well, take a closer look at this guy. You may recognize him. This is Al Gardner, co-host of Charlotte's Morning News on WBT Radio. How you feeling? Fantastically fabulous. This stuff, you feel younger every year instead of older. Al is 64 years old and has locally advanced high-risk prostate cancer. But he's in the best shape of his life. He boxes. He's a runner and recently completed a half marathon. He plays softball and is an avid golfer. I don't see this as... Oh, it's fitness. No, this is a lifesaver. A recent study by the Harvard School of Public Health and University of California, San Francisco, found that physical activity is associated with a lower risk of overall mortality and of death due to prostate cancer. It also found that men who did more vigorous activity had the lowest risk of dying. Cancer hates exercise. And it talked about this kind of extra level of fitness, not just going for a spandex jog, but real boxing or something real that's harsh on the body, how that actually can regress some of the symptoms of a high-risk prostate cancer. Dr. Chris Teglin, Al's doctor, is one of the leading prostate cancer specialists in the United States. Well, I think that exercise in general is probably the best single health uh, uh, measure that we can do to uh, increase our longevity. Consider this. Al recently underwent six weeks of radiation treatments, yet maintained his intense workout schedule. I never sensed a weakness. I never really had, you know, the digestive problems that they thought about, you know, the sense of getting down in the mouth. All of these things that they tell you come with radiation, I've never experienced any of them. Al's exercise regime may not be for everyone. Prostate cancer is complex and treatments vary. Be sure to check with your doctor. And a cautionary note about Al's cancer. Although earlier tests showed potential prostate problems, he neglected to follow up for several years, a decision that could have cost him his life. Well, I come from a long line of people. I had an uncle who just died who was 100 years old, said, fear the doctor, don't ever go to the doctor, trust the human body, trust the Lord. Dumb me, that's what I did. If you want to find prostate cancer in its most curable stages, you need to look for it before you have symptoms. Um, uh, to do otherwise is foolish. The latest recommendation from the American Urological Association, men should have a PSA test at age 40. That's a blood test that can show if there are elevated levels of a certain antigen that can indicate cancer. Now, I mentioned earlier that Al is undergoing surgery tomorrow. Yeah. He's having radioactive seeds implanted in his prostate, which are expected to kill any remaining cancer cells left after his radiation treatment. So uh, he's going to be joining us uh, during the 6 o'clock hour. We'll talk about his prognosis Good. and how he feels about all this. He is so positive. Yes, I think that makes a difference, don't you? He's one of the most positive people. Every morning he walks through the newsroom, how are you doing? How's everybody doing? He's such a positive guy. He really is. Yeah, and, I think that does make a difference. And he's making a miraculous, uh, just, I think it is, just incredible fight against this cancer. Good. All right, 520.